Hello fabulous humans, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, then well, hello. How you doing? Welcome. You just slipped into the most fabulous place on YouTube and I'm so happy to have you here. Well, now that I have you here, before you get relaxed, you get comfortable, there's a couple of things you need to do over here. You need to subscribe to the channel, become part of the Glitter and Glam Squad so we can shine together. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you will always be notified when I upload a new video. And while you're at it, hit the thumbs up button so YouTube knows the little old me, I need a little shiny, 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 yeah. Ooh, I love this winning, say, in this YouTube streets, okay? If you're a returning subscriber, Thank you so much for coming back. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. I truly appreciate you, you, and you. Thank you. Now, today's video, we are testing. <laughs> I have been testing and testing and testing, but when I tell you, that is why I had the biggest haul, because all the stuff I've been testing, I keep buying. <laughs> but um, I have amazing fragrances that were sent to me by three different people. <laughs> Three, one, two, three, four, oh, four. <laughs> so, um, two of them I think are like first impressions, like two of the sets. So this may be a long video. So you need to go grab yourself a cool drink and come right back and let's really get into some things, okay? That night I said I was recording late. I wasn't recording late. I was just smoking, chilling, had a cup of drinks. Now before we get into the meat and potatoes, you know high heels on my tippies but some plumbing gloss that's on my lippy today's lippy is orion by buxom because you know i need a plumbing situation all the time you know i don't play about my plumbing so that's what i have on today but yes yeah, so let's get into this fragrances <laughs> where do i start from should i start from what uh, roxanne's retreat sent me hi roxanne oh we do Keep Haven, hey town. Or we do my fragrance trail, hey Kiki. Or we do um, some sand split stuff, hey Melanie. <laughs> so, okay, I think I keep looking this way. So let's start with the stuff that Roxanne's retreat sent me. Now, when her stuff came in the mail, I said, sis, I had to text her, I said, you sent me a travel size. <laughs> this is not what I'm used to. <laughs> when we say decant, you know, we do a little sample, but she gave me, a huge <laughs> this is a huge one and i'm telling you i've used some of it so it was almost full she sent me three fragrances um we need to talk about them <laughs> um the first one is amour infinite and this is um ai the great you know our girl ai the great here on youtube i think this is her third fragrance and um she sent me circuit i think this is circuit de soleil you know that fragrance that everybody has that has the cute little fan that's like a circus it's a gourmand fragrance she sent that to me and then she um decided to throw in something fun <laughs> and this is called found in lights so the first one that my hand grabbed was the circuit one the circus um soleil the bottle is so pretty i want the bottle so when I first sprayed this, I felt like this was like fun, playful, bubble gummy. Like, okay, it's a, it's a nice fragrance. And then I put it on me. I was about to go to bed. And next thing I felt like I was in a cloud of like, first, I think it was, was it pop? I wasn't getting popcorn, popcorn at first. I was getting, if it was like a vanilla, caramel, um, wafers. I was getting vanilla caramel wafers, like a wafers that had vanilla and caramel in it. Then the popcorn started coming out. And I went to bed and I felt like I was in a cloud of vanilla wafers and caramel popcorn. I was like, oh, I like this. <laughs> I felt like I, I had the best dream that night. I woke up in the morning and I was like, I really like this. But $200? I don't like that. <laughs> so... And if I'm able to find it for a good price, I will wait to see what happens if it will end up with discounters. I want it, but um, I I don't I ain't got two hundred dollars for it. How much am I willing to spend? At discounters, um, one twenty, <laughs> one twenty. I think that's fair. If yeah, so 
if it pops up anywhere let me know or i don't know if people are trying to sell theirs but i do like it i, I actually like it that is a fragrance that i would like to wear around the house i don't see myself dressing up and wearing that because when i dress up i don't like to smell very foody i like to smell like a bed like when i come out i like to smell like you cannot talk to me this is smelling like come to me come to me no 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 don't come like ugh. okay we have an order protection um against you <laughs> you cannot come within what 500 yards do not come close <laughs> but that's really pretty now the next one was Amor Infinite and this is AI The Great Fragrance. Now for me, I really wanted to try this one because I was feeling like this might be the one for me because um, I came to a conclusion that I don't like banana fragrances. So it has nothing to do with, um, I think that one was called, not the Amorous Intense, the first one. I was struggling with that one and I just did not know why. And then I started getting more stuff like samples and samples and the, like the banana stuff. I just did not like it. The only banana one that I like is a synthetic banana. <laughs> that smells like banana Laffy Taffy. Now the note of banana, I do not like the banana note. So that one did not work for me. That's the Ambrosia Imperial. But I still have my uh, decan. But now that I've used it, compared to all the banana fragrances that I've smelled, it's the best one. It's just that the banana notes, I don't know what's going on with my nose. You know how it picks up on iris? It'll be picking up on that banana. But this one, I was like, okay, this might be the one for me that I need to buy. And when it came, at first time when I smelled it, I was like, hmm, this is different. I don't have anything like this. I don't know. This is unique. So I was like trying to play with it. I was like, do I like it? Do I not like it? But one thing I realized was the more that I wore it more, I got used to it and I started to enjoy it. And then I put that Circus Soleil on top of it. I was like, hey, hello. <laughs> this is actually pretty good. It's interesting. So with this one, I'm still giving her a chance, you know, to, you know, I'm wearing her more. I want to see if I'll get more compliments. Not just that. I want to see if for me, it will go into like an OMG moment but i love that it's unique i don't have anything that smells like it and um ai did her thing i just need to play with her a little bit more to see what's going on over there <laughs> but um shout out to ai for her third fragrance that's huge um she deserves it so that's a huge that's a huge accomplishment and she should be proud of herself i just need to play with it a little bit more to see what's going on now the last fragrance she sent me is a fragrance by kerosene and this is called found in light and this fragrance is honey caramel musk and vanilla so when i first smelled this this is not a first impression I'm like what what the fuck is this this is ass. <laughs> this is ass. What is this? It's, oh, 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 this is just not good. Mm -mm -mm. It is like a rotten, a rotten, oh, honey. No, this is not, oh, honey. This is, oh, honey. I do not like this at all. But I would say this, it is very strong, it's potent, and I can tell that the quality is there. The one fragrance from Kerosene that I want is Unknown Pleasures. That is like one of the best lemon fragrances I've smelled. You see this one, Found in Light? <laughs> Some people say wait for the dry down. Roxanne told me what wait for the dry down because when I got it, I said, um, the fragrances are nice, but there's just one that I'm like, what the heck is going on over there? She knew it was this one because this is a fool. Um, no, no, no. This does not smell like Dubai Queen. It doesn't smell like an Arabian princess. It does not smell like a Middle Eastern goddess. It smells sticky, icky. Even the bees that make the honey do not want this. So I don't know. Maybe I'll change my mind But as the weather gets cold. But as of right now, as, as for me and my house, huh, no. <laughs> Found in light, I needs to stay in the dark. I don't like it at all. I this is just oh oh this is just oh oh no 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 it smells like a mechanical man oh, no 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 
No. So now let's move into um, the second box. So I received five fragrances by Keeps a Haven Tone on um, Instagram. She sent me Psychedelic Love by um, Inicio, um, Absolute Aphrodisiac by Inicio, Cairo by Penthaligans, and Ardent by Bodicea the Victorious, and Guilty Crush by the House of Oud. So when it came, this was the one that I really wanted to smell. And um, she gave me a good size and I've been using it all up already. Oh my gosh. Beauty Crush, let me tell you, come closer. It smells like a really sexy, beautiful escort, you know, and she has on um, Louboutin shoes, the bloody shoes, and she has a red lipstick on her lips. We're, we're gonna give her what, Fenty Beauty or something, you know, like a really bright red lipstick, like a Ruby Woo. She has her legs crossed. She's at the bar of a fancy restaurant because she doesn't have a table yet because she's waiting on the man to come and take her to a table. So she's at the bar, but she's drinking champagne. So she's a glass of champagne. This is amazing. I love this fragrance. So in here you get wild strawberries, black cherry, champagne, in the top and in the middle notes you get lipstick you get rose you get jasmine in the base you get musk vanilla benzoin and cedarwood let me tell you after i got this i put it on me <laughs> listen i this was the first one i purchased from all the stuff they said <laughs> i had to get a full bottle and let me tell you this retails for 240 dollars <sighs> but guess what i found it on Beauty Live for $115. For House of Oud, that's a steal. That is a steal. That's where I got this one from. And this is so good. <laughs> this is so good. So this was gifted by um, Beauty Live. But you can tell, like, I got the decant and I wanted this fragrance so, <laughs> so bad. For $115, you cannot beat that with a stick. And I will leave the... Um, and I'll leave the link in the description box. If you love lipstick, you love champagne, you love strawberries, you love cherry, <laughs> you need this in your life. I love this one. And this one was based off of the recommendation by AI. AI the Great is the one that I saw that talked about this. I saw this on her thumbnail. I was curious. I was like, okay, let me watch because, you know, she's a fruity banger girl. And, um... So that's how I got that one. The next one I got is by Bodicea the Victorious. And this was the one that leaked and I cried. This is Ardent. This one is so sexy. I don't want to use what's left. Oh, hello. This is another juicy fragrance. In here, you get Turkish rose, saffron, coriander. You get rose, you get beeswax, you get jasmine. There's patchouli, there's oud, benzoin, amber, labdanum, musk. I'm getting this. This is gonna be my next crash. Arden by Bardesia, The Victorious. I love this one. So this is a yes, yes, yes. So we're gonna put the yeses over here. And Guilty Crush was already a yes, so the bottle is here. And then I, the, the hard no is found in light. That is a hard no. I am pushing it over there. Now, I'm more infinite. I think I want it. But I just need to give it time. So I'm going to put it here as a, I might get it. So the next fragrance that she sent was Cairo by Pentaligons. This one, she felt like I was going to like this one. And I do. <laughs> and I do. It's very spicy though. It feels like there's that rub. Aboniki. But I like this. You get rose, saffron, vanilla, cypria oil. I love cypria oil. You get labdanum. Oh, yes. Patchouli, sandalwood, and cedar. I like this. I think for fall and winter, I would like this in the winter time. I really want this for winter. So I'm going to put it where I put um, a more infinite. Both of them. It's not like I need it. I'm going to get it immediately right now. Like I need to pause this video and get But I'm going to play with them. And I may get it, but I'm more infinite. Is I am warming up to her now. The next one is Absolute Aphrodisiac. This one, I was let me tell you, when I first sprayed it, I was expecting that I was gonna get wet. Um, I, I was thinking that it was just going to put me in the mood. And I text her, I said, Hey, sis, um, I put Absolute Aphrodisiac on and I'm dry, I am so dry. Um, I'm not wet, so what's the aphrodisiac in here? 
I'm like, I don't get it. I don't get it. But I'm going to say this. After it settled for like maybe 10, 15 minutes, I put it on my son. <laughs> I put it on my son again to test out on him because I was like, maybe it's my skin. When I put it on him, I started to love the dry down. The dry down started to come out. I was like, okay, I think I like this one. So it's not a love. It's a like, a really strong like. But from smelling it from here, I cannot understand why the name is absolute. Like this is like the Afro, absolutely aphrodisiac. Like this is it. I don't know about that. But one thing I can say is I like this. I like what I'm smelling. I love the dry down. So I'm going to put it in the middle. This is not a hard no. So I'm going to put it in the middle. Now circuit, the Soleil one. I really like it. <laughs> it's very playful. It's giving me bubble gummy. I don't know if I'm going to get that one immediately. No, it's not immediate. The immediate ones are, um, the Bodicea one is immediate. Now, the last fragrance she sent me is Psychedelic Love by Inicio. I have not smelled this one, so I don't even know how it smells. So this is a first impression. I like this one. This is like straight up. You see, the other one I felt like, yeah, for this year one, I'm like, okay, okay, okay. But this one, I like Psychedelic. I do. Oh, what did I smell? I picked up something. I, I picked up the wrong card and it was found in light. And it was, oh, oh no. <laughs> no, no, no. No. Okay, this is circus one. Okay, this is um, absolute aphrodisiac. I'll put it here so I will come back to you because I like the dry down. Psychedelic love is good. It is good. So I'm going to put it in the middle. So that may be... Um, Fall and winter is about to go down. And um, Absolute Aphrodisiac, I'm still keeping it to see if um, I'm going to get wet. So far, no. So the next package I'm going to get into is the ones I got from Melanie. Hi, Melanie. So this is, she sent me a scent split package. So hey, scent split. I am an affiliate of scent split. So hey, scent split. <laughs> So she sent me a bunch of stuff that she got. I don't know if I'll be able to get into the ones Kiki sent me because the Sensplit one is a lot and I don't want my videos to be super, super long. So let's go through the stuff that Melanie sent me. Now, I'm just going to pick them randomly. The first one is a fragrance I've been wanting to try for the longest. And this is Incense Suave by Mathieu Premier. It's like the hottest house of the season. In here, you get coffee in the top notes. In the middle notes, you get incense and um, vanilla. And in the base, you get benzoin and labdanum. So, oh, I sprayed that on myself. Why did I do that? Because this is supposed to be a blind, 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 blind sniff, first impression. And I got it on me. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Denise is spanking. I like this one. It took a while. When the coffee first came out, it was straight up coffee bean. And I said, listen, I got coffee bean over there. But now, I'm going to move this. I like this. Especially in the winter time. I think this would be good in the winter time. However, do I want to buy this right now? Oh, yes, I like this. I don't know. You know what? I'm going to put it in the maybe. I need to play with that because... I don't know. There's something dry about it. I think it needs a little bit of juice. So maybe the coffee needs some cream. Okay. It's too black. <laughs> but it's nice. I like it. I do like it. So it's not a, uh, like a fountain light. That's a complete. Uh. Now this one in here is blank. So I'm going to put it outside because most times the blank ones, I end up loving them. The next one I have is Wordiness by Benigna. Benigna Perfumes. I have been wanting a fragrance from this house because I just like the bottles. There's just something about it. I don't know if it's all like a scan to make us feel like it's super, super luxurious. But um, I feel like, oh, look at the juice. Look at the juice. I love this. <laughs> this smells like something from the Roger Dove line. It's very vintage. It smells like an old lady with a lot of money. Very, very old lady. So in here you get orris, you get oud, patchouli, vetiver, cinnamon, vanilla bean, tonka bean, pimento, and rose leaf. I like this one. I do. I'm going to put this over here. I'm going to need a full bottle. I like this one. 
it's very weird but it smells like raja dove okay i'm gonna move wordiness to the i need it pile right now which is weird let me go back to um okay okay i am moving incense suave over here i need it now that it has settled down i'm loving it so that's going to be on wish list now the next one i have here is oriental rose and this is by vertos pari we oui, we oui. i love vertos paris vanilla oud oh, they did that they did that so let me see this one hello but this is soapy though okay okay hold on this is a maybe i love the initial burst but it's quite soapy yeah it's soapy it's soapy no 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 but then again there's something about it i like i like it but to be honest i would rather get the ai amor infinite over this no 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 i think i'm okay with oriental rose thank god i was gonna get moroccan i think it's moroccan rose i don't need it i do not need it the next one is called falcon leather and this is by um Meteor premier falcon leather are you there hell yes yes i love this one okay um i'm gonna push i'm gonna bring out um let me see wordiness one more time i like wordiness it's very weird very very weird it's not it's like a uh, but i like it oh i love falcon leather i think it's my best so far I think I prefer Falcon Leather to the um, one I thought I was going to like, the incense one. Oh, yes, Falcon Leather. Yes. I love it. <laughs> I love Falcon Leather. Incense, I don't know. Let me put Falcon Leather over here. I absolutely love Falcon Leather. I'm going to try um, the incense one one more time. I don't know if I love it enough. Mm, okay i'm gonna come back to incense i'm gonna come back to incense but you see falcon leather that's the one to get falcon leather i love so far that's my favorite so far now the next fragrance in here is called oh it's by fragrance dubois it's called producer michael pm i love me some fragrance dubois i want broom de martin and serene i buy one serene first before broom so oh what what's going on it's leaking and it's coming on me and i've never smelt it before i don't do that oh okay this is actually very interesting i think this was the one that leaked that i was smelling in the package there's something i don't know i don't hate it but let me see the notes. So you get Indian tuberose, floral notes, juniper berries, cardamom, and lemon. I think it's that cardamom. You get leather, cedar, orris, Indonesian, um, patchouli leaf, labdanum, woody notes, benzoin, and amber. There's something about this. I don't know. I don't hate it. I don't hate this at all. But will I buy it right now? No, but I don't hate it. I actually kind of like it, but there's just something like about it. Like, you know, when you eat a fruit that is not very ripe or sweet and you get that. That's what I get from this. I don't hate it. I think I, I kind of like it <laughs> in a weird way. So I'm going to go back and visit Incense by Meteor. Okay. I am good with not having that in my collection. I think I'm okay. And that's the number one I wanted. I need fal Falcon Leather. Falcon Leather is the one for me. Now, the next one is Narcotic Delight. And this is by Inicio. This was the big one. So let's see if um, I like Narcotic Delight. Okay. Oh, so yes, it was the... Um, Fragrance Dubois one that spilled, the PM. That's the one that spilled everywhere. Hello. <laughs> I love this. 
over here. It's great. Instant love. Narcotic delight. Hey. Um, I don't know what they did with um abs absolute aphrodisiac that I'm like, oh, but this oh, I love this. I love this. <laughs> I love narcotic delight. It's a delight. I love it. I absolutely love it. I want a bottle right now. <laughs> the last one is she sent me Guilty Crush as well. You already know. Two people sent me Guilty Crush and Guilty Crush is here. She does not like Guilty Crush. She said it was trash, but me, I love it. It is juicy, it's spritzy, it's sparkly, it is bold, it's daring. It's for that lady that loves to express herself, that is not afraid to express herself. She's not shy at all. When she comes into the room, you would know she has arrived because it announces your arrival. I love Guilty Crush. So that's the first fragrance from um, the stuff that I got, that I bought. But um, Bodicea um, Ardent, I want. Narcotic Delight is a yes. Wordiness is weird. <laughs> it is so weird. It smells like old, old vintage, like perfume that was made in the 60s. But I like it. There's something, I don't know. It smells like perfumery, old vintage perfumery. I really, I like it. And then Falcon Leather. Oh, honey, I love this. I don't know about the incense one. I thought that I was so close to buying, buying. But now that it is drying down, it's nice. It's nice. But um, it's not as good as fa uh, Falcon Leather. Falcon Leather is the winner from there. So those are the stuff that um Melanie sent me, the scent split stuff. PM, I like it. <laughs> I am weird, but I do like PM by Fragrance Dubois. I may add that. If I see it for a good deal, I'm going to get that. I like the PM. It's very unique in a way. I like that. So, so these are the stuff that uh, Melanie sent me. And I think that I need to do a separate video, another testing video, so we can go over the stuff that Kiki sent. Because this is not the first package that she has sent me. She sent me another stuff that I haven't even done a video for. So I think I would do a video for the stuff she sent me separately because there's a lot in here. So I would say for the stuff she sent me, the one that I sprayed on was um, Yara Candy by Latafa. Um, beautiful gown. <laughs> it does not come close to Lean and Masa. So to me, I prefer Lean and I prefer Masa. It's fun, it's young, it's playful, but it's bubble gummy and I don't know. I think it's okay, you know. Mm -hmm. If you want a banging Latafa, you should try Lean. Lean is amazing, like amazing. Masa smells like money. Yara candy, it smells like I would use that on my niece. My um, 10, 12, 13 year old niece would love it. For me, you know, like I said. So, Yes, y'all, those are my thoughts on the fragrances that I am currently testing. Let me know if you've tried any of the fragrances that I talked about. Do you have any of them on your wish list? Which one are you getting? Like I always say, in all things, what do we do? We're going to add glitter. Whenever you're in doubt, add glitter. And when all else fails, when your back is against the ropes, your back is against the wall, what are we going to do? We're going to use one of these fragrances we're testing. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of Amor <laughs> Infinite over here because, like I said, I, I've been playing with her. Absolute Aphrodisiac is another one that I want on my skin to see if I'm going to get what. So, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hello. <laughs> Maybe I just needed a little bit of <laughs> time, a little bit of foreplay to get me going. Because I just sprayed it out and it hit my skin. I said, wait, on the scent card, I was like, I'm not getting it. But now I put it on. Hey. <laughs> Scratch what I said. I'm moving it over here. I'm going to need a 
true bottle. You see, this is why I don't like to do first impressions. I need to give myself time to let this fragrance digest before I make an opinion because I'm already switching stuff around. Okay. It's good now. Okay. I'm now I'm getting it. Now I am getting it. Okay. I will come back on that one in the future. But so far I think I'm liking it. So I'm gonna try that tomorrow. It will be my scent of the day tomorrow. And I will let you guys know as we get into the fall what it's given. But yes, yo, when your back's against the ropes, you know, maybe um Afro absolute aphrodisiac is going to get you in the mood. So you can add more glitter. So you add more glitter. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in another video.